Hello, this is Happy Brad. I am going to give you a quick tutorial on how you should adjust your cameras during the race so that during the loops and wall rides you get a better perspective of where you're going. For instance, the way it is plain, when you go into this first loop, you're going to notice that the camera angle is going to be on the outside of the loop and it's hard to see where your, cam where your car is going. And we don't want that. We want to be able to see where we're going at all times. That's just pure safety. With the wall ride, same thing. This, even though this is more doable, it should still be an internal. And the last one is the vertical loop, so we can see where we're going. <laughs> I never said I was a good racer. So we're in our validation. And what we're going to do is go into the movie camera and we're going to edit in game. It comes up with our first clip automatically. We're going to name this clip. You just kind of click next to the P there. And we're just going to call it loop 1. Loop 1 into or whatever you want to do and we're going to place the beginning of where our camera changes let me move in on this a little bit now it's a little bit awkward to kind of move this thing around all right we're going to change the camera angle right about here or maybe here so we move our little green box to the position where we're going to move our change our camera angle. We click this little uh, cube right here, and it brings us to that point in the in the race uh, where the car is at. And now we're going to clip on the track that we're going to uh, input here, and that's our camera angle. There's all these different things that we can add but we're going to be talking about camera angles uh, for loops. Uh, select camera race. You're going to select keep playing. And simple enough, you're going to make that internal. As you can see that the vision has changed, so you are now the driver's eyes. And you click play, and this is what it's going to look like going through the loop. And it will stay that way until we change it because we have keep playing up here. Uh, so we're going to put in another clip. We come back to this screen and at the end of the loop we want to get back to normal vision. So we're going to clip right here. I'm going to try it right there. And you will see the condition up here is none so that's all we need to do. That's it. And we'll call this one loop one exit okay and that one's done now we're going to create another clip for the wall ride we have to move over to the wall ride all right we're going to move our green box up around here for the wall ride once again, we're going to click the cube. Brings us into this vision. We're going to click this little square here, which is camera race. We're going to keep playing and switch to internal. And so we're going to get this type of view on the wall. Okay. We're going to call this wall in. I guess in is good enough. And now put a new clip when we come out of the wall ride. Now these are a little bit trickier because there's many different positions the driver might be able to come down in. We want to make uh, our trigger a little bit bigger. So you do it by doing that. We have like eight or six squares there. 
it's all one square. And this is going to be called our wall exit. And we just label them so we know exactly you know, where we're at in the game if we have to change things later. So condition none. And then when we exit, it will go back to the default. And now we have one more uh, clip that we want to add. And I know I don't have much room here. Um, maybe normally you'd just keep this the same camera, but you might uh, want to change it here. Just for further reference, we're going to do this vertical loop or V loop. In. Click the cube. We got that already. Click this. Camera race. Keep racing. Internal. And then clip. out or exit and we have to put the box over here somewhere let's put it right here and yeah, we'll even put one up here who knows don't think it will happen but it's safe better safe than sorry and we'll have that uh, for our end in condition none and that's pretty much how it works. We're going to go back and see how it runs. So when we go in to validate our track, uh, we'll see the different camera angles. Here we go. We're going to go into the camera. And out. And we're going to go in with the wall ride. And out. And in real quick. And out. And that's the way it's done. Please incorporate these types of camera angles into your tracks that you make. It just makes it a little bit easier for the drivers. It makes it smoother and cleaner. And uh, more fun. So... I leave you with that, and you can see on the replay here all the ins and outs as to how it will flow, and just makes it look a little bit better. Thank you.